Hey everyone, welcome back to Robo Request. You ask, we build. We are back with another awesome motion-based Arduino project. Thanks to a cool request from TSC Feng Wu four three double four. Now in this project, we are using an MPU six zero five zero accelerometer Arduino Uno and four LEDs to detect tilt directions up, down, left, and right, and light up the corresponding LED. Just tilt the sensor. And the lights respond instantly. Perfect for learning how motion sensing works. Now let's jump in and bring this project to life. For this project, you will need Arduino Uno board, MPU six zero five zero module, four LEDs, four two twenty ohm resistors, breadboard, jumper wires, USB cable for Arduino. Let's wire everything up. First of all, take the Arduino and breadboard. Insert the MPU sensor on the breadboard. Connect VCC of the MPU six zero five zero to five volt on the Arduino. Connect GND of MPU six zero five zero to the ground rail of the breadboard. SCL goes to A five one Arduino I two C clock. SDA goes to A four one Arduino I two C data. Now let's connect the LEDs. Insert the LEDs on the breadboard in this way. Connect the anodes, the longer legs of the four LEDs, to Arduino digital pin two, three, four, and five. Add a two twenty ohm resistor to each cathode, shorter leg, and connect them to the ground rail of the breadboard. Finally, connect the Arduino GND to the ground rail of the breadboard. Make sure to double check your connection with the circuit diagram. Now download the code file given in the description below. Open the code file in the Arduino IDE. We start by including the libraries. Where.h used for I2C communication between the Arduino and MPU6050. MPU6050.h helps us interact with the sensor very easily. WPROM.h allows us to save and load data, so we don't have to recalibrate every time. We create an MPU6050 object called MPU and define the digital pins connected to each of the four LEDs. Now this structure helps store the x and y tilt values for each direction up and down, etc. Now we create named indexes for the direction and array of five position values, one for each direction, including center. Now this sets a tolerance level. How much variation we allow in sensor readings to still consider it the same direction? This function saves all the direction data into EEPROM, so it's stored even after power off. This function loads those saved positions when the Arduino starts again. This is a simple check. If the values are all zero, it means no previous calibration is stored. Now we start a serial communication, I to C communication, and initialize the MPU six zero five zero. Then we define the LED pins as outputs. We check if the MPU six zero five zero is connected properly. Next, we either load the save position from EEPROM or prompt the user to set them using the serial monitor. Now, in the loop, we continuously read acceleration data from the MPU six zero five zero. We check if any setup commands were entered in the serial monitor. Pressing U stores the current tilt as the up direction. Similarly, D, L, R, and C store other directions. Pressing S saves everything to EEPROM. We turn off all LEDs before checking the new tilt. Now this section compares current sensor values to saved ones. If the difference is within the margin, the LEDs for the direction is turned on. Same goes for down, left, right, and center. This gives the sensor a small pause for battery accuracy and prevents flickering. And that's it. Now connect the Arduino Uno to your computer using the USB cable for uploading the code. Select port and board in the same menu and select Arduino Uno. Now upload the code. Follow the instructions in serial monitor to set the tilt direction and press S to save. Now finally, tilt the MPU six zero five zero and watch LEDs respond in real time. And that's it. We have just built a motion sensitive direction detector using Arduino and MPU six zero five zero sensor. Thank you. Keep your suggestions coming, and your project might be the next. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Robo Request. We'll see you in the next build.